secondaries. We were yeah. talking about Nero's Fox. Let's talk about Blade. I don't want to talk about Blade's Veil. Can we call it Bla Bladenetta? <laughs> Bladenetta. <laughs> yeah, yeah he, he's moving over to the uh, the Bayonetta side. And, I mean, then again, he's not really going much yeah. like change from uh, Sheik and Cloud to, to Bayonetta. So. Well, I think That's Sheik Blade is a very it. respectable character to be good at because everyone, I think, agrees very technical character. I mean, I'm not, like... I, all I'm You're saying, saying is I haven't, list, I, haven't, right? I haven't seen this this Bayonetta yet from uh, oh, okay. from Blade, I see so I'm not sure like uh, how it's gonna do. Knowing uh, knowing him because he did play melee and he can just kind of like pick up a character and like kind of learn. No, he yeah, knows yeah, how very, to very learn strong, what to look yeah, for. So he's a very strong player. Imagine it'd be good. We'll see though. Oh man, yeah, Nero, Nero off on to a good start. And yeah, Nero's just kind of holding the back line there as Blade's just kind of jabbing away in the, uh, in the air with his forward airs. Oh, wait, the so counter. Yeah. I liked the idea. Oh, what the? Yeah, I don't even see, didn't even see what he. I, I do. It could have been a jab reset setup. That's the only thing I could I could really see. So. Uh. All right, so we have Van on Lucina and Jake Home on the. Uh, the wow. Ooh. Okay. That was a really good punish there from Van. Oh, but this is a good punish from Blade too. Almost taking him off the top of that Rufio. He was talking about how uh, good his bayonetta combos are. So we'll have to see that in action. Yeah, I'm excited because typically uh, uh, the difference between a good and great Bayo comboer is like to d mix up DI. So right. if, if you can react to someone's mixing up DI, you can be real. You can get really fruition with Bayonetta combos. Yeah, because there's definitely more than one string that it can go to. Yeah, exactly. Yep. And you can also wait for air dodges. Wow, that jab reset didn't get too much off of it. Maybe didn't anticipate it. Uh, Blade coming down. Yeah, nice punish. Yeah, Blade and Nero uh, get, getting themselves a little bit of an early lead. They were at pretty even stocks here, especially with uh, Blade almost at kill percent, but uh, they definitely solidified some oh. sort of lead. But uh, Ben bringing that a little bit back. Ben's neutral usage has been uh, quite good. <laughs> Round here. We're actually kind of we're in like a 2v2 situation here. Everyone, come, Okay, you, oh, wow. now you're throwing your partner. Yeah, that, that little electric shock from the throw kind of broke things up there. I actually think that's why he did fourth throw, was to kind of get the hitbox, and there's the prostate exam. Pikachu doesn't need that, but is going to get it. Yes. Going to go down, but no, Van going a little bit too far with the neutral B. Yeah, unfortunate stuff for Van. Uh, they weren't too far behind, but now that's going to be a deficit that, that's going to matter. Yeah, this is going to be a big deficit. Ooh. Oh, maybe not off the top quite yet. Yeah, Blade's been missing those finishers. Oh, oh my no. gosh. The, yeah, the, the recovery from the Dolphin Slash actually stage spiking. Or uh, Yeah, Green Team had like two or three unfortunate scenarios that were like they could have. Oh, oh, come on, Blade! Blade trying to make a statement. I'm still not impressed with your Bale yeah. Blade. All right. Uh, <laughs> Bale Blades? Bale Blades? <laughs> I don't want to have to start saying that. Bale Blades. Bale Blades, Bale Blades, yeah. I think that's where we're going, though. I and do like the Blade Anetta. Blade Anetta. I don't know, I kind of like Bayo Blades if we're going to have to have something. <laughs> and this is kind of rude, uh, Nero's actually... I love his Zelda, actually. I, I do love his Zelda <laughs> as well. But I mean, but it like, it, it wasn't it wasn't that big of a, a lead that those guys had. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I like, think Jacob Nero... and Van were, were still, like, throwing punches at him. They were taking stocks. Like, they, they, they can't, like, you know, be sleeping on him too hard. You can't sleep on him, no. But also, don't sleep on the Zelda. I yeah. know a lot of lower tiers, because they do have powerful moves, like Zelda with the kicks and like the smashes. Uh, they can be quite effective in doubles. Extremely. I always say that like doubles is a, a game format where a lot of more characters have more potential. I, I How can they not, pretty much? Uh, we'll move on here. Got the Zelda out. It's going to be fun to watch. Down throw here. Oh, nice break up there from the Nair. Oh no, and Van, uh, yeah, I don't know if like he wanted to stall in the air with that Dancing Blade, but he just committed a little bit too hard to it and ended up losing his stock. He might have like Dancing Blade and like try to press up B, but if you press up B while you already press your triple, you'll still Dancing Blade. Right. So, unfortunate. Down throw from Nero, oh my god, coming from the sky, Bayonetta with that down air. And right now, uh, Nero's just kind of controlling the ground while Blade is dancing in the air and following up off everything that uh, Nero throws at him. Well, yeah, you can look at the control that Yellow Team has, just in general. Look at this. Yeah. Killing off the top. Basically, Nero's passing over to Blade, and Blade is just kind of carrying him all the way to the top, taking tons of damage. The green team needs to find something. Yeah, haven't taken a single stock from Yellow Team yet. And, oh, oh, nice. All right, yeah, these forward smashes from Ben are fit fairly well on point, taking quite a few yeah. stocks. 
Oh, not just barely. But yeah, that F smash was really nicely placed. He like got right in front of him. He like did, you didn't know where he was gonna land. Right. So good stuff to Van. Okay. Just karate chopping his way down. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, Nero managed to avoid all of that. And he's back on stage. Van though keeping played at bay. Oh, oh, again, Van just not able to make it. I think Van's double jump usage needs to be sort of. Oh, yeah, you have to a little bit more careful. Purposeful, yeah. Right. I think because you, your double jump has to have a purpose, rather than you feel comfortable using it whenever you want. That was a good mash. Yes, it was. Luigi, I was, I was respectable. Yeah, definitely made it back from that situation. And oh, okay, Blake, Blake wow. trying to follow him very hard. Yeah. But another shield break here today, getting an up smash off of it. Yeah, some good damage, but uh, Nero's still on his second stock, and Blade's still on his first. But that wow. counter as a landing. Van, Van has a really unorthodox uh, Lucina, and I like it. Yeah, it's definitely unorthodox, and it's uh, it's doing good damage, but I feel like the teamwork aspect between uh, Jane Coleman and Van is not really quite there, which is what's possible yeah. in this match. You can see they want to do like kind of their own thing rather than like passing and topping and turving. Okay. I think he was in the middle of a spot dodge, because to avoid that hit, you want to tip the spot dodge so you shield doesn't take any damage. Right. Yeah, a lot of... Uh, Fans, Lucina, like move options are very powerful. Like yellow team has to respect them a bit more because they are losing stocks. Oh yeah, no, this is not out of the realm for green team yet. If they can take out both stocks on yellow team, they have a good chance. Yeah, Luigi and Lucina both have uh, decently, you know, middle to low percent uh, kill options. Oh, breaking it up, Nero coming in. Yeah, the the green team with like Lucina's forward smash. Uh, okay, but Blade. Luigi did, doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, yeah, Blade did manage to finish that one off. We haven't seen a lot of like combo finishers off the top from uh, Blade's bayonet, uh, but he's been doing a lot of damage and finally did manage to take a stock there with it. Ooh. What? What the? Oh, did Blade save him? I swear, Blade. Yeah, actually, yeah, I think he might have. All right. <laughs> Even if he didn't, the, the the idea was so good. Oh. Up till. Yep, gonna okay. do it. Wait, wait, did the up? Wait, who, who got him? I, I I don't know if Blade got him at the top there, uh, because the up tilt <laughs> sent both Blade and uh, yeah. and Van all the way up there. I know up tilt is quite powerful from Zelda. They were both pretty high up, but either yeah. way. Because I, I, uh, I haven't seen up tilt. I don't know if I've seen Zelda's up tilt kill before. It's like a good, it's it's a decent move, but I haven't seen it kill. Uh, I think in like the Izzaz video, they're like, yeah, you can use it as a kill move eventually. I mean, uh, oh, okay. yeah, it sounds like, <laughs> like, like it's like a, I wouldn't say like a fox up till.